Hey guys, are you struggling to attract women or feel like you have weak, unmanly body language? Maybe you're tired of being invisible at work or in social situations. If that sounds like you, you're in the right place because today we're gonna to talk about powerful tips for developing strong masculine body language. These tips are essential for any man who wants to build charisma and strength, not just with women. So get ready to transform your body language and start getting the kind of respect you deserve and the kind of women you desire. Number one, Stand tall and avoid slouching. If you're in a chair, sit tall and avoid slouching. Good posture is the first aspect to strong masculine body language. And whether or not you like him, Tom Cruise is an excellent example of a man who exudes strong, confident body language. He's 5'7", but appears taller and more imposing because he stands up tall with his shoulders back. Remember, slouching gives the impression of being depressed or lazy or uninterested or having health issues or lack of interest. Key point, you can only do what you can do. So just focus on what you can do. Tom's also really good at the next one. Number two, making bold eye contact. Making bold eye contact requires a level of intimacy and vulnerability and shows that you're confident and interested in what the other person has to say. When talking to a woman you're interested in, making bold eye contact conveys your interest in her and your desire to make a connection with her. Key point. Any woman you have a chance with will appreciate bold, confident eye contact. The ones that don't, you're not missing out on anyway. And no, you're not going to go to jail for making eye contact. Key point, she may be and even seem nervous about the tension that that bold eye contact creates, but you need some tension to avoid the friend zone. Three, using gestures purposefully. Gesturing with your hands can convey your message more clearly and effectively. And it also shows you're not afraid to draw attention to yourself. You're not self-conscious. Of course, be careful not to overdo it, unless you're purposefully exaggerating. But otherwise, erratic and exaggerated hand motions or body language can be distracting. Key point. If you're not accustomed to making gestures with your body, then you might want to start with your face. You might notice that animation helps engage your listener or the person you're speaking with. Number four, keep your arms and legs uncrossed. So keep in mind that closed body language can create a barrier between you and the person you're chatting with, which makes it more difficult to create a connection with the woman you're talking to. Again, so avoid doing that unless you're purposefully doing it to exaggerate a point or tease her. Number five, take up space. Expanding your body posture can make you appear more dominant and confident. Try spreading out a bit more when standing or sitting while of course being mindful of other people's private and personal space. Key point, men often confuse dominance with being domineering or controlling. Only emotionally damaged women stay with men who are emotionally or physically controlling. Those aren't the women you want. But studies show women do appreciate a man who has dominance and specifically who she views as being willing to protect her. And the single best thing you can do that automatically helps with confidence and masculine strong body language is getting fit. If you're not already fit, start getting fit. Never mind what it's going to do to your physical appearance. It's also going to release positive, good feeling endorphins. It's going to help you sleep better. It's going to balance hormones. It's going to help you manage stress. It's going to make you feel better about yourself. It's going to make you feel more confident about yourself. 